next vlog. We have one piece of mail we received. Actually this is two pieces of mail, but one that's Lego related. On uh, Thursday, March 11th here, after lunch now, we got some good stuff in here. I needed these curved arms for the commando droids. I, I couldn't find any. That's the only part I'm missing to make like five or six little droids. Toxicida leg? Toxic. I don't know if I say some. Some of the stuff I already have already. I've got from other USA sellers. This is from Norway. These are nice. And uh, this is a nice order. This is a $300 with the shipping costs included. Total $308 is set on the invoice. Nice. I need more of those. Got some black helmets here. The pearl dark are easy to find. The black ones seem to be harder to find. Oh, I got some more of those. Nice. So one more Bricklink order checked off my list. I think I'm only waiting for six now. They're all coming from overseas. And that's all I have mail coming. These are cool torsos for terabyte from Ultra Agents. Bad to the code with the alien, what do you call it? Alien Invader torso? I don't know. Dark tan plane, reddish brown plane, clay's mouth thing over his mouth, and this is why I came to the store. Griffin Turner torsos. They're about five bucks each. Great. I realized I never showed what was in this box that I got earlier in the week or the weekend. I don't know. Some really great stuff in here. Really great stuff. I got some old palm trees. It says there's 107 of these trees in there. <laughs> Three, four, seven ones. There's 21 plant trees. Or fruit trees. Plant trees? I said that before. And I was like, what am I saying? Plant trees? These are fruit trees, according to Bricklink. And Lego, because Lego's Bricklink. Lots of flowers other things, and then the mini ones, 155, that's really 155, it just doesn't seem like there's that many, but I'm always, you know, amazed at how many, how much, like, mini pigs can fit in a bag like this, you can get a lot, so, so this is only 107, but they're bigger, but these are kind of small, we'll count them out, we're going to get these all added to the store, by Friday night. Yes. All right, that was a very successful order. It should be because I paid a lot for it, but um, obviously there's a lot of extras of everything, but here's a look at things that I just completed. Falcon Knight, I got some shields for that boy. That is a good seller on eBay, I have to tell you what. And uh, the, both of those have the same helmet, so I got both of those completed. And I added a bunch to my Brickling store, and now this is the last Last stop. Whoa! I messed up my thing! No. Um, this is the reason why I came, came to the store for those. Actually, I placed, I placed three orders in that store the last three months, I think, or two months. And this is the last one that's coming, so. I've got the heads, I've got the hairs, it's gotta get, I got brand new white legs in my store, I gotta pull out now. And complete 18 of these. Let's do a check on, we have 1,320 items on eBay, just engaged, a pretty big weekend sale, biggest one I've had in like three weeks, so, um, Bricklink, some good lot numbers there, and good part numbers still, uh, this weekend I'm not going to be uploading a big set, I was wanted to do the Hall of Armor, but, uh, there's no interest in somebody sorting the parts for me, so, not, not a big deal, uh, I'm going to be doing, focusing on eBay on Saturday for, Till about 10, 30, 11 a.m. is usually what I try to work. But last Saturday I worked nine hours, which is not typical. Usually about once a month I'll try to do that to catch up on some bigger part outs. So, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna keep on going. So I have a few hours here on Thursday to work. I'm just gonna about to edit my 
vlog here. Where is it? What's it gonna be? Is this number 102? 102 comes out tomorrow, so I gotta gotta get moving on this. All right, so I'm gonna start cleaning up this. And I know on the end of the last vlog, I probably said I was gonna get to visit this. I got from someone that used to live in Green Bay. They moved away and contacted me on Instagram. And the Chima set I put in a pile behind behind this for someone that called it. So got a pile going for that. I'm not sure what set this is. Looks like a Star Wars ship of some sort. There's another piece in it somewhere. Um, this is a cool sealed set. So that's sealed. This is sealed. Let's guess I'll check how much that's worth. This I didn't really want, but you know, it's sealed. And oh, here's part of that ship. Um, I think, I think it's a TIE fighter. Let's find out. That's always fun. So the easiest way I figured out how to find it is I just put in a one by eight tile. I got the part number, which is 4162, right? So and then I just put 4162 with the wild card, and then I selected the only black color. There's 125 options, and I saw it as I quickly was skimming through. Is this the one I saw? Yeah, this is the one I saw. So it's set 9500. 2012 it is this ship which is a pretty sweet ship I tell you what I don't know if the front pieces here um, but let's just do let's just do a fun thing like because you know with me I don't really sell the ships well that's a big obviously the value in this is this minifig is worth a lot if I do used part out, go here, I'll delete the sticker sheet off of there because we don't have that. And then go to the bottom. Just go to the bottom already. Uh, 164 lots. He's $82 of that price. That's ridiculous. We're just going to delete. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, delete those. <laughs> I have my, my prices at the current items for sale, so people are on average are asking that much for them. There's probably not very many for sale, so people just don't want to actually sell them. Unless they can get like a ton of money for it. Um, so now it's thinking. So if I were to part out just all the parts in the set without the minifigures, I would get $85 for this thing. And that's only 83 cents. It's probably the only thing it's missing, or a couple little things here, so... That is a very good part out. That's why I will be parting it out. And there was another bag in there, so we have it all. It's not the right one. Wrote it on here, I'm gonna dump this in here and then set it in my to-do pile and hopefully get to it next week by, or something like that. Well, I just cleared this bin out earlier today so I could uh, fill it back up. And then uh, next week I'm gonna work on clearing this bin out. This is kind of a part out thing. I decided I didn't want to sell it with the guy. I already sold the figure for 60 bucks. And I'll part that out because it's actually parts out to almost 20 bucks just that. So my uh, parts on there over a dollar. And um, try, I'm going to work on these two next week to basically clear them out and <laughs> get it back to square one. Like these guys don't even need to be in here. They're just sitting here. I, I'm not having them for sale right now. I'm just kind of holding on to them until I get clone heads. Um, I know I have a bunch of clone heads, I just have to go through my stuff and find them. Because <laughs> uh, it's all the stuff I've purchased. Is this guy. It's, it's different. Will I go start making that? Weird. Okay, so here's a little lesson, I guess, from what, or not a lesson, but what I would do with this. This um, torso comes on six different figures. It's Paradisa, just look up Paradisa figures and you'll find it. And then it's not, but not all these are under Paradisa. There's Classic Town, Classic Town. So four of them are actually Town and two are Paradisa. So what I did is I pulled up a window of every single one. And not only do I check the average sale price, I also check how many times has it sold. So this one right here, you know you'll get a good sale on it. It's going to sell for that price at some point. In that last six months, this one as well sold a lot. 
Uh, this one not so much, which is that one. Not showing the, the picture. And then there's this one that sold one time for a lot, like double everything else, pretty much. And then there's this one. The other Paradiso one is, so the Paradiso ones are more, right? So this one here is what I'm interested in. Not because it has this, it's because it's this. And I look at the average price, it's $5. So why, you pretty much have the same parts as these other ones, except the legs are different. I have a bunch of these legs. So I'm gonna list my, both of mine. Well, actually, I'll list one on here and one here. I'm list one of each. Oh, what's the difference though? Oh, it's a closed mouth. So I have an open mouth. I just have to make sure I have that head somewhere. So I don't know if that is a more of a rare head. I'll have to check. We'll see what we can come up with. So here's all my stuff. Here's my Paradisa. Just gonna take it right out. So I actually have others in there. There will be a day when I can go through these. Um, there will be a day. I mean, I, I'm going through it now, but I'm not gonna dump it all out and make as many figures as I can. So here's a closed mouth one, perfect. So I'm gonna put that one with that, like I said, and that one with that. And let's just build another one while we're at it because I have this other one. I'll just leave whatever's in here alone for now. Um, there's another head, doesn't look the best. Sometimes I put basic stuff in here, or I have another bin of just female heads in here. Here we go. So I have, a, I have some in here. So that's what we'll do. Set that there. And then what is what was it? Yellow legs and white hips. So I need to transition a couple of these white hips, which I have some. We will make them. We will make it work and have about nine bucks worth of figures that I made out of these three torsos that I pulled out of the slot that I went through a few days ago. So I decided to make make two of each. Um, and then I forgot to get the hairs. Keep my hairs right here. They're just the black, the old black ones. I think I have a bunch of them. I rarely ever list hairs like this on uh, Bricklink because I use them so much. So it's just not something I'm going to be doing. That one's damaged. And I'll also, once I put them all together here, I'll double check them before I actually put them for sale. And I've already checked all the torsos and the legs as I was doing them. There's just nothing wrong with them. But I'll double check for cracks. I don't think I've done that. I'm the ones I pulled out of here, or the one I pulled out. And if you want to take it a step farther, I mean, this is kind of a lot of research when you're listing one item, but you know, I'm not, I'm not sitting here taking breaks and talking about it. I do this pretty much all the time. It's something I don't know anything about. And then I know for, from there on out, I can't remember. So in this one, that's more expensive. I just put on who's selling it in the USA, right? So I'm gonna go through about 350 for that one. And then um, for that one, there's actually 13 sellers selling it. And so, oh, 58 bucks, you think so? Oh, it's new. Wow, it's pristine, yeah. Let's buy it for 58, whoa, yeah. It's gotta be worth it, you know, definitely worth it. Whew. Wow, I'm really thinking about buying that. Okay, I gotta get off this page uh, before I make a crazy decision. Um, anyway, um, so what we have here is a situation where there's a lot of sellers selling it, and then I go to price guide and sometimes we'll do group by currency um, by month, see what actually sells US dollar. One is sold for $2 in March, one in February. So it really does not sell when it does, it's really low. So I might probably put it about 245, I think. Um, is, the reason being is because I also sell on Brick Owl, so it's a little bit more than the averages, but on Brick Owl, it might be um, very competitive. All right, the last clip about this, I promise. I feel like I'm talking about this forever. Because <laughs> in my time, it's, like, I don't know, 20 minutes has gone by since I started doing this. I don't know. I'm doing other things like editing a vlog and things like that in between. Um, so I've mentioned this before, anything that looks like same color or like same part it could be mistaken for, don't put it in the same bin. So I have this one in there and this one in here. This is kind of my setup when I'm when I'm uploading new, I mean used parts like this. I'll grab a bunch of uh, you know drawers up that have different, so I know I, I kind of just kind of rotate this go through the line um, to kind of fill them up evenly 
as I go, and then I have a couple minifigs. Sometimes I have even four minifig things out if I'm just doing minifigs, because it fills up, and I want I want a variety. I don't want anything that looks the same in there. As you can see, I do have a couple friends in there, but they're different hair colors. Is how I try to do it. I've actually been putting some friends in the small bins because I just uploaded a bunch, and I didn't want to mix them up in this kind of. You know, I know I already have some of these in other minifig bins. I don't want to look in there. Do I have that one in there, that color in there, or someone similar already? So, and that is it. Don't try to, whatever you can, like, not confuse yourself by putting things in different spots. Do it. So this set might be expensive. I don't know. There's only one person selling seven of them in the USA for 60 bucks. The price guide's only 40 So I don't know how to take that information. So other people are selling it for this, so I might sell it for 50 and just do free shipping. I don't usually do that on my Brickling Store sell sets, but this one might be worth it. Box is okay. It's got some stuff, but just put shelfware. Nothing crazy. I take that back. There's some issue there, so... Uh, I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll probably put it in my convention stuff, sell it there. It's always fun to have older older sets, you never know. And then this one, 70313. Little tires. Lava Smasher. I don't think this one is worth that much. USA Sealed Search. 31. 36, so wow, well, okay. Not too bad. Alright, it's the end of the day here. Uh, Thursday. Looks like I didn't do much today, but um, I did pretty good. Here's my part out log. It started this morning where? Uh, coral reef. Part out six of those. And then we did some minifigs. Um, it doesn't show all the used parts I put individually on here either. So went through a bricklink order. Uh, where was our numbers here? Oh, so it added, added 138. So there we go. We're end of the day. I have to come down and do some orders later. And this is about how long it takes to upload a 50 minute video. There it goes. All right, we're back down here Thursday night. I gotta record my time. All right, four hours, 45 minutes Monday, two and a half hours Tuesday, almost three hours Wednesday. So what, six, I'll just say six, that's a little slow, so we'll say 6.25 p.m. we came down. And then got this in the mail. I used to sell at the Shano Flea Market, about an hour and 15 minutes away from me. It's awesome. Um, a little too big to do that anymore. <laughs> Maybe on a holiday weekend if I'm not busy, because Memorial Day weekends I would do really well. I did it like two in a row. And it just got more and more shy, but last year wasn't anything. Here comes a box down the stairs, but anyway, orders to pack. I spent a lot of time with this cart. We're becoming really good friends. Um, this is the first brick out order. Very high dollar amount. 19 lots. One pound, eight ounces almost, so here we go. And this person placed an order in my store yesterday for a little bit less than that, but two days in a row. <laughs> quite, you know, quite big order, so that's awesome. So uh, I guess we can start by getting a Darth Vader helmet in 7-Eleven. Oh, 7-Eleven, we got some Darth Vader helmets in there. Waiting for new homes. There we go. All right, all the new parts. Now we're on to the used. Right here. All right, started just before 6.30, so we'll give it 18 minutes to pack up 800, 800 parts for 90 bucks and it is there. I don't think it will fit in a flat rate envelope though. We'll find out. If not, I'll put it in a medium flat rate box, which is fine. Alright, it's Friday morning, 5.15 a.m. I just got these pulled. All the eBay purchases, I think it's 17 total items there. Not too crazy. And then on the Burke link, we ended up with six orders. Yeah, there's actually two more that are not paid for, so they're not in this list. 
And so I packed up, I just have to pack up the 20 lot, 5 lot, and 11 lot here. And Brick Hall, I just have to pack up the 13 lot. And, yeah. So it's clear, and I'm going to try to get this done, and I'm going to start photo taking photos of my eBay stuff here. Alright, here is a sale. And with these two um, sales, I pretty much made all the money back I paid for all those Galadar figures. I'm selling three figures. Probably short with it or somewhere around $5 because of the shipping. This is a free shipping order, just like the other one. So, But it's close, and that is awesome. Oh yeah, I remember that one huge order I did a video on. There's a couple missing pieces, so Wild Style is holding on to them for the next order. Uh, first Griffin Turner is sold. First out of 18 I just got yesterday. Alright, it's 5.48 a.m. This is my last order to pull today. So that is good. I have all the eBay already shipping or shipped right there. Ready to go. And uh, here we go. Gonna get all these done. Let me do a half. So there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there's two that I had to put up here they weren't actually paid for. So they're just waiting up there. All right, here's my mess of photography stuff. Actually, there's one more. Oh, actually, there's a couple more down there that I need to um, I need to make the labels for. There might be a couple in here that have need labels too. Um, my first step is to organize by theme because when I list on eBay, I just use the same template per theme. So it has a link to all the other ones in the listing, so I don't have to keep jumping around try to do that. So listed. Gotta accessorize. I need a new label here. It's about that time. So, uh, I started with four of these. These are my new minifigs for eBay. And Star Wars and Ninjago are just just packed. That's just pretty much superhero. I have Overwatch and Stranger Things, but there's not much things. There's not much many in there. I don't even know. There's like two Stranger Things characters in there. Um, these are fine. These are kind of a mix of a lot. They are some are filling up, but I have this one that's all hidden side, and I wanted a bigger label on there. Just I don't know. I just use my label maker for that at some point. And we're gonna move this over to Ninjago. So, I have to go through this one that has uh, Star Wars and Ninjago. And uh, I used to have Hidden Side in here as well. This has been moved out once. So, um, why is there Harry Potter in there? That doesn't seem right. Must have got mixed up when I was going through them the other day, pulling orders. Um, I like this guy. Just put him for sale. You go in there. All these Ninjago. So I gotta go through. I'll just dump it out probably here in a moment and tape tape the labels that I made and move on. So I get this stuff sometimes. This is Lego Vlog 102, which is supposed to come out today. I've I've uploaded it and I get a comment. It never showed up, but I found it by accident. I was going through your old vlogs. It's so weird. I, it's on unlisted, so it's it's happened before. Where people are commenting on videos I haven't put public, which is strange, but whatever. <laughs> They're ready to go. I just have to do the clip art and fix the title, and then I will release them usually around three or four, two to between two and four p.m. on Friday. That's Central Time. There we go. Much better labeling, and Ninjago is the winner there. <laughs> Certainly, I think I've. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of. Superhero stuff as well. It's probably, it's probably more than Ninjago. Um, but they don't seem to sell as much as that. I sell Ninjago a lot and the Star Wars a lot. So I think I'm going to put these two over there and move the superhero with the, the hidden side. Because these this one's harder to access with this bar here. It's not too bad. It's just it's annoying. I'm used to going over there a lot. So I put these away. There we go. Looks more official. Now we're ready for more. Because the reason I did this because I have <laughs> some Star Wars and it was not going to fit very well with all the Ninjago and Star Wars together. And I think, oh, I have some Ninjago. This is pretty big, too. <laughs> so 
so I think I have, oh yeah, these J Ninjago's and then and that and then the Star Wars new, I have all, all these are Star Wars new, so they're gonna go down in there. It's extremely rare I have auctions, I think the last one I did was the Citizen Brick stuff, so I've had two this year, it's March. <laughs> Um, the reason I did this one, I because I just parted out 12 of these sets, so I, I just relisted 12 new. If I just hit research again, there's my new listing. That's prices with, you know, not the sale hasn't started on it yet, so it'll go, it'll go 30% off on eBay this weekend. And that's very very competitive with other prices, honestly. It's, it's wild how, how expensive this is. But I did put this one used, um, six hours left, and there it goes, so continuing to list. Anytime I can list these two together, I do. Even putting, maybe even putting uh, Krusty with them, would be a good idea. But the more you put, the higher you have to do the price. I think this is very sellable, about 15 to 17 bucks for this I'll get. Yeah, compared to what they've sold for originally. <laughs> I think it was like two, maybe three bucks a pack. Well, it's the only listing I could find on eBay for this guy. <laughs> Other than buying the set, <clears throat> which is just crazy. There's nothing. Hey, that's that guy. Um, I guess the next step is to look on sold when you're kind of researching prices. Because <clears throat> I've had them before and I've sold them, you know, I think for, you know, 25 bucks, but I, you know, look at, it hasn't even sold. That is crazy. Okay, take it back. There's auction, auction, I buy it now buy it now so but there's only one for sale right now which is nuts here's something I don't understand it's kind of like an eBay hack where they're trying to hope that they get somebody to buy something at a ridiculous price because it makes it look like the last one you got to get it but when you actually look at the listing and click on the sold ones they only sold for like 19 or 21 dollars so I don't understand these people who is this that's Brickaholic. See, I don't really keep up with, well, they have 10,000 items on eBay. <laughs> I don't really keep up with um, other sellers on eBay. Are they all Lego? That's a lot of listings. But, yeah, they have 9,796 listings of Lego. That is crazy. Um, let me go to the sold stuff. That's how, kind of how you gauge how well they're doing. March 11th is yesterday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They had 10 sales yesterday and only 4 were minifigs. So they are not moving too much. I mean, they got a complete set of that sold, which is 5 times 10. See, they paid 40 bucks for them, so they're not making too much on that. Uh, but either way. Yeah, they have a ton of listings, but not much sales. I take that back. Um, they're doing some crazy stuff on here. I just looked this up. They're, they're selling 30 of these tan 2x10 plates for $15.95 free shipping. So we'll just say they're coming away with 11 bucks. They're like, that's only like $3.50 worth of product for them. So that's pretty good to sell pieces that way. I bet you some of you it's better even 1x6 plates. Um, you click on the sold here. Oh yeah, only oh, got yeah. doesn't have very many left. So um, let's see, twenty dark brown one by six plates. So one by six plate. If I can spell plate right. <clears throat> I can't. Plate. Here we go. We'll do it. There's what's going on. It's space. There we go. So they, they made oh, about 18 bucks out the door after shipping and stuff probably, so we're going to dark brown. But they actually are more expensive. So how much was it? 20 of them? So three fifty so seven bucks worth of parts and coming away with 18 bucks for just pieces. That is a pretty good markup for parts. Mark up. So uh, my next venture isn't this route, but it's close to this. And looking at other sellers, I've been to research some stuff like this. And see if I can get in the game like this. I don't know. <sighs> Seems like a lot of work, but I have. I just have to build them another storage wall dedicated to the eBay. We'll see what happens. All right, let's check out my wanted list. I've been adding parts for 12 days now. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, there's some things that just kind of throw a bunch of stuff on that I don't actually need it. I just have a habit of doing that. I feel like it's a good investment in the end. So there might be things, at least 50 things like that I probably added in the last 12 days. Like that, I see like, oh, I want to get those stock up on them. So, but it's going to be uh, three, I'd say a hundred more than that by the time I start buying again. All right, I just relisted all my eBay stuff from that sold last night. And the final number, 1,348 items and look at this number I have 2144 quantity that really jumped up from the new stuff I just listed today <laughs> I had quantities of over 10 on a couple things so that is awesome and now it's time to tackle this bad boy see if it was worth my investment I think I offered 220 bucks for it and they came back to 250 which I thought was still a fair deal uh, I wish I would have got it for 200 <laughs> I was offering 200 and then 20 to ship it um, so it was my initial offer. Yeah, so I paid 30 bucks more than that, which is still really good, I think. And we're gonna, I'm gonna write these down because there's not that many different parts here. I don't know if I'm gonna really list, like, yeah, I'll probably list all the flowers and everything. Why not? I have so much, I have bags of this stuff someplace. And it would be smart of me to get that out and sort it all together, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna list everything that came in here. I have a ton of stuff, even right here. I've been hoarding up like house stuff and plants. So there is actually some of this stuff in here. Um, when that gets full, I'm just gonna bag it up, put it with the other stuff I have. <laughs> I probably have like triple that amount bagged up. So, yeah, there's that saying around here, someday, someday I'll have time to do more, someday. So this was the biggest one, uh, part three, four, seven, one. I almost took up the whole thing. I had stuff in here already. I just bagged this up, all the other stuff that's in there so I don't have to dig around all this. I thought about bagging those, but that's bag the smaller stuff. Well, I had no idea there's some reddish brown of these in here, and these ones, these are the ones I have with just the two axles. And I have one, two, I have five of them, so I had no idea those were in, like, I thought they were just brown, old brown. So that is a nice score. Alright, I think I'm calling it quits on this. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do the flowers, but we did everything. Um, I might, because I might do an eBay listing with some flowers. I don't know yet. I don't want to so much work to take these apart I don't really want to take them apart I don't think you can list them as if you can list them like that I certainly would on Brickman but here these are ones I pull out of my own stash to get a visual for those trees 132 worth 126 36 bucks 46 um, I, I put everything um, just below the averages or maybe a little bit more than that if there's a lot of quantity other sellers for selling uh, it's got to be Competitive. These are those brown pillars. There's a few of those. Wasn't much. I don't remember that. What that was um, bright green. Those are those three leaf things, like the bigger ones. So those were nice. And then the palm tree was a surprise. Twenty six because it was reddish brown. That one section. So three ninety nine sixty two, uh, and then I paid two fifty. So when I said I wanted to get it for about two hundred, that's why I figured. We you know the math. Two hundred is probably. Where I almost sent my back and said, no, I don't want it at 250. <laughs> um, but the decision that made me get it was that I don't have these for sale, and it was a really already sorted, so I paid a little extra to have them sorted, ready to go. This took me less than a half an hour to do this, so to, to list 400 bucks worth of product, which is very good. You know, you always got to put your time into the part out values, and this is going to draw in more sales. For, for, for other parts in my store so it's one of those things not always it doesn't always seem like the greatest deal but in the end for your store it definitely can be um i don't know what i would add for this i don't even know uh, how much these stems are i just type in stem and i guess it's this this right here so their price guide for green seven cents each um so you're looking at another 10 bucks worth of stuff, maybe, I don't know. Flower petals are um, any different, but either way, that's, I'm happy with it. Definitely, it's really easy and uh, we'll let the stuff sell now. All right, I'm gonna try a little experiment in eBay with these. Um, so I bagged them all up. There's just five in there. And then that's, there's only five yellow, actually. And then there was five pairs of five, so there's 25 red ones. Eight pairs of five 
and I, I kind of had my own bin here. I kind of made it five if I had to, or I put actually a couple of the, the white ones away because there's only two left at the end. So there's 40 of these total, dark pink, and then 12, so there's 60 total of the white. So I'm thinking I can come away with $4 profit after fees and everything on each one of five. I don't know, maybe it's 350 is more reasonable. But if I do that, that's 20, say 25 times even three bucks, that's 75 more dollars on that total. So it's an experiment, I'm gonna try it. I haven't listed anything like this on there. Um, I've listed like some of the old palm trees I have on there right now that haven't sold yet, but they seem to sell for like 12, 15 bucks each, depending on the size of them on eBay. So this is how we're doing this and we're moving on to something else now. All right, another one arrived. Um, this was purchased on December 21st. Oh, yay. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, they got a flyer here. Stein Dealer 10. German X bricks. That's pretty cool stuff. I like that detail there. Um, yeah. That's everything. So, what did I come here for? I got lots of black legs. I was like, I'm kind of getting low, but I know I have some in my. You know, stuff I can search through. Ooh, this is why I came here. Two of those legs, which are becoming very hard to find lately. So I'm glad. Nice. I'd be able to complete that figure, I'm quite sure. Yep, it's right here. <clears throat> Boom. And I I may re-photograph him with the cape, because I have a bunch of capes now from the um, Dementors that I saved. A couple. People will be happy with that in German. You should see my, my middle son's room. He's 10. I'm going to have to show it on a video someday. It is crazy. Um, he's collecting trash basically, but he makes it into art. So we'll show you that sometime. <laughs> so I'm going get, to get this process real quick and then move on to that. And then slowly work through this. I guess we started this bag. I think this is all uh, the completed minifigs. Or close to it, I don't know. Ooh, there's Yurikai. Nice. Forgot about these right here. Two of these brand new. Bagged up nice. How many Yurikai are in here? There's at least the one with the shield. Looks like just the one. That's interesting. He's stuck. He's getting his stuck in there. That's a cool keychain though. Oh, it is so uh, sun damaged. <laughs> That's hilarious. Really bad. I've never seen it that bad of blue like that. Well, maybe I have, but Zolm from Prince of Persia. That's the wrong head. Um, that's, I think that's Bilbo, but it's the wrong head. I think maybe that. Is that Bilbo too? I don't know. I know I get confused when I see things wrong. Ooh, there's something in the coffin. Nice, he's got the big good cape at the tops. Sweet, and his bride was in here. Right here. I might list that just like that on eBay together. I haven't done that in a while. Um, so yeah, there's some good stuff in here. I'm gonna go through this first and then start digging into all this. I was looking up this torso. I thought it might have a sticker on the back and then I, I found it. Whoever put this photo up is a genius. Just put a mirror behind it. That works perfect. All right, we got it. We got the numbers up. We got them up today, so today Friday is over, and I'm hoping to part out at about 2,500 parts Saturday. I'm still debating if I ever want to. I mean, I do want to, but we added a bunch of minifigs today. And uh, just like cleared up and built some from stuff on my desk and the stuff that I actually the minifigs I opened up I showed a little bit ago and parted out some things. How many minifigs do we have? That's always a, something that I'm trying to get to a thousand here. 720. It's hard. I, I was up to 740 I think once and then it went under 700 because I didn't upload them for about a week. Um, but eBay obviously that's my priority so that's why most of them go there. But eventually I'll get there. Just sold this guy on Brick Owl, and I was just checking into it. Um, see, there's seven sellers, and I'm the only one. 
in America and the cheapest in the world, which is pretty crazy. Um, I, I just don't know if you even sell for too much more. So, I mean, I'm selling the same price on eBay as I am everywhere else, but it's a pretty cool figure. That's all I know. Wow, I think this is pretty sweet. Um, so Brick Owl is offering money credit 40 uh, GBP I think it is 40 cents it's I think it's like 50 it's basically fit over 50 cents per image you put up um, you get credit to your fees in the month so <laughs> which is wild um, what am I doing so if you look here on your tasks you should have items missing pictures so this will go right to where you have items that do not have a picture. So apparently I have a total of 95 items in here that do not have a picture. So say I go to gear, keychains, sports, it'll take me to whatever it is. So that's Allen Iverson. Now I don't know much about um, Brick Owl, like how to do things, but all I know is if you go into here and then you go to edit right here in the actual catalog, I think you can do this in any of them, um, and then you go over to image here, you can just attach a file. Uh, there's certain guidelines and things like that. I'm not sure it can't be up to eight megabytes. That's way better than BrickLink. Wow. I think it has to be two megabytes on BrickLink. You're always having to edit it, make it smaller, but wow. Um, I don't have time to do this. I might do it for a few things. I think that I would need it, but that is, that is quite awesome. Um, I guess I could just make a list of my stuff or print it out maybe. And just kind of go off of that and do do a couple of them a day. I don't know. I like to think so, you know, because there'd be an image right there. So that would be pretty cool. Well, I did a video on the Brick Monarch stuff I got. And they sent me this for free. It's amazing. The sign. <laughs> and I didn't know where I was going to put it. Uh, but I found it. Because I had a calendar here before. And this is actually wood. When we moved in, this, they had like tool screws all over it for tools, hanging tools. Here was our workbench right here. Um... So yeah, we'll put it there, and uh, I don't plan on putting a calendar there. I have, I'm using this on my desk. It's one of those for now, so let's put it up. Very easy install. Um, so this I did the other one differently. The other one only had three. Uh, this has four. So what I'm going to do, I've installed the top two, and then for the... Um, the last two, I'm just going to just put this behind it with the screw, line it up so it's perfectly where it needs to be. I don't know if that's going to stay or not. We'll Beautiful. Bring some color to the room here. All right, Saturday morning, just got down here a little later than normal. Let's go to paid. Uh, so we have 10 orders on BrickLink here. 116 lots. Not much at all for 10 orders. And on Brick Owl we have 6. And it totals 40 lots. 110 items. Great. And then on eBay, 33. It's a good number. So I'm going to get moving because i got stuff to do. 6.31 a.m. All the eBay orders are shipped. On to BrickLink and Brick Owl. Alright, first Brick Owl order is pulled. Four minifigs. I like that order. Alright, there's Brick Owl. It's all done. I got a letter, a letter, a note on my first uh, uh, BrickLink order. It says, Hi Pop, big fan of the channel. I love watching your long vlogs. If you have the time, you can show my order. In the video, I collect Spencers and hot dogs. Haha, <laughs> have a good day, Erica. All right, thank you so much for the order. Um, so, yeah, they asked me for a certain piece if I had one, and I did have it. So, I put it in the store for them, reserved it for them, and they placed an order, like they said. So, that's awesome. And uh, we go to here. Got some blocks up there. I'm missing Harley's missing Joker. Um, so. We have one balloon animal, this one, dark blue, and then, I remember getting into this dry nor it is, because I'm having trouble getting into it lately. Not really lately, but not too bad, just 
gives a little tug at the end. So they got five Spencers. One, two, three, four, five. And this came in like literally every hidden side set. Not everyone, but pretty much. So that's how I got so many of them. <laughs> and I even put a ton of them in my convention bins. So there we go. Let's see. Let's pull the rest of the order and we'll see what we have. All right, here's the complete order. There's 20 hot dogs there. Got an alligator, got Will from uh, Stranger Things. Got the dogs, another, an extra, another different dog there. And the, I think that's a book of monsters and Harry Potter. I'm not always right on Harry Potter. And some other Harry Potter details. It's got to focus here. And this is the part that I asked if I had. And I did have one extra. <laughs> I have I have a couple more, but they're on actual ostrich, so I think I have two more, which I think I should just put those ostriches for sale. <laughs> uh, but either way, nice order, thank you so much. Going out on Saturday. There's another great face on the cameras. <laughs> I just got done uh, editing this uh, video for Brick Monarch, and I just sent him a message on Instagram, letting him know, and I offered if they that. You want to do the uh, the clip art for the video? Definitely send me some information or something. I'll put whatever on there. This is a lot of fun to make this video. It's a lot of fun. I love the new decorations. They're so awesome. All right, Lloyd. It's time to get to work, buddy. 8:47. It's probably about 8:50 actually. 8:51. That's about four minutes difference. So. Um, I just got a cart of empty drawers here. I just threw the stickers in just now and we're we're moving here. So gotta turn this darn thing. So stickers go into zero 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 one dash zero zero seven. And that one is done. I have my phone set up next to me to go uh this will oh, actually I gotta go to the next screen here so that uh, when there's parts already in my store, it'll tell me where to go throw them into. And I didn't sort this completely last night, but I sorted it pretty good. Um, you know, where I uh, the it's definitely color color sorted, and some that had a multiple of some, or I try to keep the same parts from the same bag in the same bin, so there's not tons of different mix up parts. So um, that's where we're at on that. So I think it's this one is first. It's just loading, you know, it's those. Okay. Um, so here we go. Those are in here. I'm just going to get my yellow trays out now and just dump. I probably have a couple yellow trays sitting out here. Go like that. So I need to find 24 of those to go into 725. So when there's a lot of quantity, I sometimes I come and just pull it out because I don't know if that's going to fit. I might have to switch them anyway. So let's get moving. So I'd like to, to have a snapshot of this for a couple reasons, um, what the part of value is. Now this is a huge amount because of the minifig in here. I don't know what the parts are, we're going to find that out, but if you were to try to buy this set just for that, I mean I paid about 70 bucks for each set roughly, so this doesn't look like a very good part out value, um, but it depends on the, the minifig. I've sold this minifig in here, just the one for over 50 bucks three times recently. So. Um, to pay 70 bucks for a set and you still have what three other minifigs you have that one that one actually four you have the brickster you have four more minifigs um, so anyway this is the number I was I want to check real quick and I have 96 things that are not in my store so that is a great it's gonna add 96 new lots to my store um, that is that's what I go for found a discrepancy in this set here so there's supposed to be 24 in the four sets and there's four of them that came in just orange turns into an orange and there's only uh 20 in there and there's no more in here strange all right we have all the numbers entered and everything and we have everything uploaded so i did add just the four of these guys i have to i have another uh browser open to make sure of all the parts because i don't feel like putting them on ebay and it seems like a good price on here. Um, so, 70 times 4 is 280 bucks I paid for them. So I'll probably get roughly 260, 20, 60 bucks minus that. Yeah, to about 260 bucks back for these parts. 
that I paid 284. But so that means uh, you know 20 bucks. You know all these guys are profit minus 20 bucks. But apparently, oh this this must go to this guy because then never uh, never came through. Um, 50 times 4, that's 200 bucks, plus another, I'd say 10 times 4, 40, 240, plus 20, 260. We'll just even that out. So 240 bucks profit, roughly, on this. And how much time did I spend? I, I took a break for breakfast. I'm not sure when I started now. <laughs> um, I was out of here for like 15 minutes. So let's get it uploaded before something happens. And boom, we did it. I just gotta put those in my stuff. I'm not gonna upload those, but we are out of here after I finish this. And I got a brick packer, all the parts together. So here's all the, a lot of the new stuff. So these are the only two big drawers I have space in right now, which is amazing. Because, <clears throat> and actually I had, I have no other drawers of space, any small ones. So those are the only two in my whole store, which were there and there that have room um, as for a big, big drawer. I had to use all new ones right here. So I'm actually up to 3357. Every drawer has parts in it except two of those big ones that I just showed you. So, and then over here we got uh, 3837. So we used up. Actually, we have one that's open up here still that I emptied out recently. All right, time to punch out. 11 a.m. Five hour Saturday. And that's it for today. Won't be working anymore. Five, oh, that's Friday. Five hours. So then Friday, uh, hour and a half plus an hour and 50. So three, um, let's do two hours, three and a half. We'll just say three hours, 30 minutes. I'll do it later. Oh, it's Sunday here. We're going for a run. Ready? We gotta clean up our mudroom here. It's a wreck, huh? Ready? Ready? All right, we made it. I ran one, one mile with the dog and brought her back and I ran three more by myself. So it's confirmed she's no longer a running dog. So anyway, tired, windy, feels good. This is like the hardest I've ran this year so far. I feel most tired at the end. So I didn't fall this time, that was good. I'll do my best to get them all in the shot here. Here's the rooster garden up front and the three young ones that are less than a year old here with them. And then the other, the barred rock, the striped one up back there is four years old. And the other two are about three years old. So, doing good. One rooster seems to be pretty nice for the most part. You gonna jump at me? <laughs> and our back property, where I'm gonna build a deer blind. Is All right, I'm getting a late start on Monday. <laughs> that uh, spring forward ahead time thing has got me a little tired because two days ago it would have been 354 right now. Anyway. eBay? I shipped uh, 25 orders out Saturday night because I knew it was going to be uh, hard this morning. So that's what we have now. Um, Brick Hall, we had three orders. And on Bricklink, 27 orders are showing paid right now, which is nuts. I'm gonna have a long Monday, but it's only five lots, five items per lot, which is very, very doable. Um, at, what do I want to say about, I can do like uh, about 250 lots per hour uh, if it's like under five lots, five items per lot, so I wouldn't call that two hours of work, but maybe two and a half. We'll see tonight. 5.40 a.m. eBay is done. There's one there and then two more over there. And I have to print out the Bricklink Brickall stuff. 
All right, here's the madness as it ensues, they say. Uh, so watch the, uh, just another big brick in the buckets recap for February um, last week. And they mentioned in it uh, that the brick owl seems lower than everyone else's. And I did uh, some math, 33% of my orders for brick owl and then 60, what, 7% were brick link. Today we have three brick owl. <laughs> And 27 Bricklink, I think it was. So that's even way more. But then I did revenue, um, and it's actually 24% revenue on Brickhall and 76% on Bricklink. It's even closer because they're saying they're only at 20% Brickhall, 80% Bricklink. So, yeah, that's just how it is. And usually Brickhall are smaller orders, typically. So. Definitely Bricklink, and I've been seeing so many zero or less than five feedback buyers on Bricklink. Uh, it's insane, and I think, you know, when you talk about, was it good that eBay bought Bricklink um, in the perspective of getting more sales? I definitely think so. Um, there might be some policies you don't agree with or you think might hurt you, but in the end, it's just a corporate thing. You will get more sales because of what happens, so, and it's definitely definitely happening first brick owl order is all medium dark flesh according to <laughs> brick owl medium nougat according to bricklink all right biggest order of the weekend as far as lot count goes i think it's pretty piece count or close to it it's just over four parts per lot so uh -huh. 621 set from our from our bagging station so we have two of these and there should be five left they're hiding in there all right we're done uh, I was six turn 622 by the time I pulled the first one so it's 25 minutes got a few more minutes for bagging stuff up but there it is 130 lots all right i packed up one more after the the big one i just did got i gotta get to work so this is it and then uh let's look over here we still have that many here's the one i gotta pack up behind me and i just did that so it's a busy monday night all right we're in the thick of it here Trying to rebuild minifigures. That's what we do. And then there's the uh, pirate stuff, a few others, and then the castle stuff. So we're getting there, getting through it. Well, I never thought this day would come. I'm just trying to rebuild the Steve Diamond. I have one Lego Steve head in there. I really need to get those purple legs out of there. It, this doesn't even need a big drawer like this just the fact is that at one point I had a bunch and I've been using them up there's only one Steve head in there I think it's damaged don't tell me I have to order Lego Minecraft Steve heads that is not something I ever thought I would have to do don't worry I don't have to order any I have some in my store here we have well we have two of them We'll take one for now, I'm sure. By the time I need the other one, it'll still be there. <laughs> we'll see. All right, all my eBay's relisted. We, we're keeping it very high here, which is great. And I have more to photograph already, probably at least 20. Um, so I'm gonna keep on going here. Keep on going. We got this set from that haul. Um, that I went through the minifigs on Friday. We're gonna do that right now. And then, actually, I'm going to take this up right now. These are, looks like some really good minifigs in here that I, I know I can get for sale quickly as well. So i got to set up my... Oh, there's some really good stuff in there. I can set up my... Uh, I'm going to set up my used uh, drawers over here to start putting parts in here. And then the minifig ones, too, for Bricklink. And we're going to get moving here. All right, here's a look at this nice little lot of stuff. So, um... I'm just trying to complete what I can out of it. Um, 
One thing that I'm going to start doing, because now that eBay is allowing 10,000 free listings a month, starting in April, I'm going to do more of lots of two items together. I quit doing that for a while, but I was doing, I, I probably did really well on it. And then I started doing more on the Bricklink. Um, but I know that the proper, the path to greatness is eBay. So that's why these are going to go together. Um, these, I'm going to somehow complete one of these two girls with, I think I have a hair for one in my store. I'll pull out, do a lot of those ones, and uh, just keep on moving. I'll be putting some of these up onto eBay, or I mean the Bricklink. Like, I'm going to do this one onto Bricklink. I don't have the gavel. I'm not going to buy the gavel. I don't believe. Uh, well, there's Jasmine. There's her hair. So, it's going to continue to work. Oh, here's her hair. Perfect. So, these two will go together. If I don't find her hair, I'll just that out I think and uh, keep on moving never mind the gavel is here score oh and I actually need this I just I just sold this guy this weekend and I did not have the gun perfect I know there's another one here but I have the gun on my list for next time right here we have the complete Reed family it's Rebecca Dan Danny. They're all going together. Can't split them up. Ooh, I was very happy to see this hair. The same style that comes on Professor Lupin. But it also comes on Robin from Batman 1. I haven't had this in like well over a year. I've had it a few times. I actually completed this figure a few times in my past. Price guide. It's not crazy. It's probably worth more for me to keep it and try to complete the figure. I don't know what this this is this just this head is the issue because uh, I guess there's, there's quite a few for sale I might even have one I don't even know um, I don't have one in there and I don't have one in there so we'll just put the hair for sale I think well here's the reason you put it for sale you always check the USA even though the price guide is average of five people are asking for an average of six there is only three for sale in the United States and 12.99 is the cheapest and plus the cape that yellow cape was was very hard to find only a few sellers had it and no one in America had it for sale um, so definitely not completing it I'll put it for about eight bucks right here all right we have Monday's mail with the glare there much better so this is the one I didn't know if I was gonna get uh, like three weeks went by and the tracking was never updated just said that a uh, shipping label was created so I opened up a case on eBay said it's not here or what's going on I still want the item and it arrived so I have every purchase from eBay now secured and I this is definitely on the table apart out I'll do this one last because I may want to get a sixth one I have five of them I might try to get a sixth one next month I don't know uh, but I'll I only have the Hall of Armor and then the what is it the Clock Tower Harry Potter over there that I have a lot of quantity that I want to get parted out. And there's a bunch of other little things and stuff around here and there. Um, I guess we can turn this back on. This was placed on February 11th. It was a store from Taiwan, I think. Taiwan is in is in Asia. Um, but I had uh, they had a bunch of Nexonite books. I think there's three different ones in here of three or four of each of them. So that's why I came to the store. And I bought some cheap minifigs. From there and some other few other pieces there's that it's a pretty small order that took about a just over a month to get here and then I got this for my can new camera did I show my new camera I think I did anyway um, 64 gigabytes a camera I use now only has a 32 gigabyte one and I figure you, it takes bigger pictures bigger sizes the probably the video is larger so I wanted to get more and this is what they recommend as far as speeds and stuff so Excited to start using that. I'm going to start using that camera. I'm going to try it for a week of vlogging starting this Friday coming up or the next Friday. I don't know how when I say that in, a, in this video when that'll be, but end of March. So is it March 18th? Today is the 14th. 15th? Yeah, the 18th, I think, because 17th is St. Patrick's Day on Thursday this week. I don't know. Anyway, that's the mail. I don't know if we'll be getting any tomorrow. There's a good chance we won't. So enjoy this clip while you can. So an update on my hours worked for last week, March 8th through the 14th, I know we're getting on the 14th, but 21 hours, 45 minutes, so that's 
this is the first week it's five hours less than that because Saturday was not a wild day <laughs> um, so comparatively I worked an extra 20 minutes the previous Monday on March 1st than I did on March 8th I pretty much worked the same on to the Tuesday I worked uh, four hours 25 minutes on the Wednesday of that week I must have had well because I did photographs there okay but there's differences here so then Wednesday I worked two hours 50 minutes this past Wednesday Thursday three hours 10 minutes the other Thursday two hours 35 minutes uh, the most recent Friday was three hours and 30 minutes and this one was two hours 55 minutes so and then the Saturday like I said five hours this, just this past Saturday nine hours and 15 minutes the previous Saturday due to a large part out so I'd say on average for a whole month that yeah I'd say 20 this will just say 23 it's kind of in the middle of these 23 hours a week I work extra doing this roughly that's what we're but we'll see I'm still tracking hours I'm getting sick of tracking them <laughs> but I'll do it for the month of March at least